if you start getting into a debate about academic numbers, then you've immediately moved away from the central idea, which is that you should welcome anybody that wants to come to our country that's entitled to, that wants to make a positive contribution uh, to our country. I don't know what that number is. Well, the government talks about 100,000, getting it below 100,000. Is that well, an academic number? It will be what it will be based on the amount of demand there is in the UK for jobs and the number of people that want to come here and better themselves. And if they come here to better themselves, work hard, pay taxes, contribute to our society, mm -hmm. that's something that all of us all 60 odd million of us who already live here will benefit from. But the Prime Minister, I just come back to this, you talk about academic numbers. I mean, the Prime Minister has said he wants it below 100,000 net immigration. It sounds as if you would prefer to say what we want is the people coming that we need and we shouldn't set a number on it. Is it well, fair to say that? There, there's no economic justification to pick any particular number. Uh, our focus, as you would expect as a business person, is to focus on what we think will help drive our economy improve the lot for all the 60 million people in our country. And hard-working people, wherever they hail from, the, wherever in the UK they hail from, or wherever in Europe, those that are entitled to come here, coming here, working hard, contributing to our economy is a good thing. I don't know what that number is. All I know is we should focus on the positive outcome, and that's where the politics ought to follow. Obviously, we're getting growth in the economy now. You would have thought that people might be feeling a bit more confident and might be wanting to spend a bit more money. From your experience, is that the case or not? Well, I, I think it depends how that growth comes. I think you have to step back a second and say what happened as we entered this decline. What happened is that actually the pain of the decline was felt very heavily by those people that lost their jobs. And typically what happens when you come out of a decline or a recession is that those people start getting jobs again, and that's what we're seeing. That's great news for them. That step that you take from being unemployed to being in work is great news for you personally. It's great news for the economy. You're off the benefit system, perhaps even paying tax. But the vast majority of people are not yet seeing wage inflation ahead of uh, the overall level inflation. So for the vast majority of people, although I'm sure they will be pleased for those that are finding jobs, aren't seeing extra money in their household budgets week in, week out. So the vast majority of people aren't feeling the growth in the economy, aren't feeling any kind of recovery? Oh, I think they can see the recoveries out there, they just don't feel it personally yet.